Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you how to solve a common problem many of us face when importing meshes from Blender to Unity. The material mappings getting shuffled. If you've ever been frustrated by your materials not appearing correctly after import, you're not alone. Let's walk through how to ensure your material mapping remains the same as in Blender. We must know that this is a two-part problem. Let me show you how it is done in Blender. First, we will create a model in Blender with multiple materials applied to it. Then, we will export it to Unity using the default settings to observe how the materials are handled during the import process. Now we will create a cube, for example, and extrude it a couple of times and make a separate material for each extrude. Note the material order in the Blender. The order should remain the same when we export it to Unity. Now we will export the file in FBX format and import the mesh in Unity. Note the material order changed when we imported the mesh in Unity. This is due to Unity Reads material in alphabetic order. Now here is where the magic begins. What we will do, we will give our material an alphabetic order and then export it to Unity. Note the material mix-up issue resolved in Unity, but this is only one step of the problem. Now look, the materials still are mixed up in the mesh renderer in Unity when we place our cube in the scene. This is due to SubMesh ID. SubMesh ID is a self-made terminology to explain how the system works. So what happens is each time when we extrude an ID is assigned to the loop. At least this is what I found, and this information is hard-coded, so we need a workaround to manipulate this information. So what I found is the SubMesh IDs work in two. Let me explain First, we have to separate each element according to their assigned materials and then attach them accordingly. Note that the primary selection is given the first number, which determines its order in the material mapping process. For example, first we have to select B yellow and then A red and then join them. Note the A red element should be primary selection and now do the same thing with C, blue and D white be sure. C blue should be primary selection, and then attach C blue with A red. Make sure the A red are the primary selection. Hopefully, this will solve the mesh renderer material issue. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.